as he declares ambition for presidency by Joseph Arunka Abu Jalal Haji Ahmed Buhari, Saturday, said there was no alternative to restructuring if the country's continued unity must be guaranteed. He differed from President Mohamedou Buhari over his opposition to decentralization of powers to component units of the federation, saying the continued retention of so much powers by the central government was responsible for the many problems facing the country. Buhari, who said this yesterday, in Abuja, during public declaration of his ambition to run for the office of president in the 2019 general elections, insisted that President Buhari was not sincere in his opposition to restructuring. The 40 years old politician, who said he would slug it out at the People's Democratic Party PDP, primary with other aspirants of the party, expressed optimism that he would emerge victorious just as he vowed to decentralized power if given the opportunity to rule as president. Addressing a mammoth crowd that greeted the open declaration of his ambition, he insisted that the country must be returned back to region government else it would continue on faulty line as being presently witnessed. Regretting that the nation's security had so much deteriorated from how it used to be before the present federal administration came to power, he called on authorities to consider new approaches in dealing with the situation and bring the ugly security developments to immediate end. Hear him, with all the resources we have, why has it been so difficult for us? It's because we don't live collectively. We have allowed Nigerians to understand that we are the same and that we will not allow all those things that divided us ethnicity, religion, political party affiliation, gender, age bracket and the rest to divide us. We have come to understand that for us to succeed as a people, we have to be united because only a united people can become a progressive people. We do understand that for us to succeed in this country, security must be taken very seriously and one of the reasons why we put this administration in office in 2015 was because we were very sure that it was going to fight insecurity but the fight against security has failed. Quote, More lives are being lost every single day and you cannot guarantee anything right now. We do understand that for us, as a nation, to be successful, we must decentralize because the center is holding too much and has failed. It's when you decentralize and give power to component units that things will begin to work well. And I think that it's high time we begin to think of how we can spread the powers to the regions so that the regions can be independent. The only reason we find ourselves in where we are is because we do not know who exactly to hold responsible when things are falling apart. But if we decentralized, we will know what the responsibility of the National Assembly is and we will know what the responsibilities of our governments are and we will know exactly who to hold responsible when things go wrong. This is what my promise is, expressing happiness over the turnout of people at the event, Buhari said, this is not a rented crowd, this is a crowd of young people who truly want a country that they can truly call their own. We have built bridges and structures across the country, I want to thank you for your commitment to this, he told his supporters, adding that. We started this in 2015, when we saw that the administration couldn't put together its cabinet, we knew that we had to do something different, we knew that we had to step forward, we knew that we had to wake up the consciousness in the heart of the young people. And truly, we started this reformation by putting ourselves together. He spoke further, the experience required to give good leader does not have to be earned through political process. Every single person has a right to run for this office. Every single man has a right to run for the presidency of this country. My story will interest you because I was just a, a little boy when I lost my father and at a time my mother was just 32 years old, so I know what it means for one to sleep hungry. I know how it feels like when you don't know how your school fees would be paid. I know what it feels like when you are not sure how your house rent would be guaranteed. But I did not let all of that to define the man that I needed to become because at the end of the day, your decision defines who you want to become. 
I know what's like to be employed in a country like Nigeria and what you have to go through to get a job. I know what it's like to lost a job. I know what it's like to be on the street looking for somebody to receive your CV for a job. I know what it's like to start your own company and make it to be successful in pay staff salaries. I know what the market still look like. At 40, I still follow my wife to market to shop with her and when you go there, you'll know that things are not better. Prices of everything are still high so, whatever indices people present to me, whether it's 2.5 growth or 13.5 growth, I don't care because at the end of the day, the country is still where it is. Buhari declared that he was ready to take his ambition to the very end because according to him, he was determined to make Nigeria a different country where its people would be proud of. Many people have asked us why Ahmed Buhari and I try to let them know that this is not an ambition, it's a vision. It's a vision we are prepared to take to the very end, he stressed.